assalamu alaikum dear students hope all of you are doing well and you are enjoying your video lectures let's start today as you already know we are studying the chapter heredity and evolution lastly we went through the history of mendel and finally we went through why mendel is called as father of genetics actually mendel was the scientist who laid the foundation stone for the world of genetics for the world of genetics now let's move further mendel performed breeding experiments for about 10 years as i already told you in these breeding experiments he chose a plant which is called as pea plant in common language it's called as pea plant and its scientific name is pisum sativum its scientific name is pisum sativum or you can also call as botanically it's called as pisum sativum but why mendel chose pea plant as his experimental plant what were the reasons what were the features that made mendel to choose pisum sativum as its experimental plant there were few special characteristics few special features in the pea plant due to which mendel chose pea plant as his experimental plant first this pea plant was easy to grow or even in this time we see that pea plant is easy to grow then second we will see that this pea plant shows a well developed contrasting pair of characters contrasting pair of characters that means it shows opposite characters in when we are comparing two pea plants at the same time one of the pea plant will show one trait or one character and another pea plant will show same trait but it will have different form it will have different color like if we see we have one of the pea plant its height will be tall and another pea plant its height will be dwarf character is height but trait is different tall and dwarf this is a contrasting simple contrasting characters that pea plant shows it shows a visible visible simply means we can simply see with our naked eye that there are contrasting pair of characters in pea plants when we are comparing two different pea plants then the third reason why mendel chose pea plant as its experimental plant is that it's perennial in nature it's perennial in nature that means it completes its life cycle almost in 6 months almost in 6 months it's easy to grow it completes its life cycle in just 6 months and most important most important the pea plant shows both self fertilization as well as cross fertilization or we can say that both self pollination as well as cross pollination is possible in the pea plant and this was the most important reason that mendel chose pea plant as his experimental plant and after that we know that from one pea plant we can form number of new pea plants because one pea plant forms thousands of seeds and from those thousands of seeds we can grow number of pea plants in one season in one season and lastly the last reason was that growing pea plants was very easy to handle as well as was convenient there was not so much care towards growing of pea plant at that time and even even this time we see no such proper care is required for growth of pea plants for growing pea plants because it usually grows normally in the nature these were the reasons that why mendel chose pea plant as his experimental plant as his experimental plant then afterwards mendel now will start its experiments mendel starts experiments but for his experiment mendel just chose seven characters only seven characters mendel just chose seven characters for his experiments in a single pea plant there are thousands of external characters thousands of phenotypes that will be controlled by particular thousands of genotypes but out of those thousands of phenotypes mendel just chose seven characters mendel just chose seven characters what was those seven characters these were first if we see plant size or which we call as height plant size or which we call as height this was a character which mendel chose first character was simply height or you can also say plant size fine 
then second second was simply position of flower position of flower that means where flower is growing where flower is growing in the plant third there is color of unripe pod color of unripe pod 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 is that thing in which actually there is presence of seeds of pea plant covering that we call as pod then there is fourth character which is shape of pod which is shape of pod this was the fourth one then afterwards we see the fifth one is simply shape of seed shape of seed shape of seed sixth is color of seed sixth is color of seed and seventh one was the color of flower seventh one was the color of flower or flower color flower color these were the seven characters which mendel chose for his breeding experiments right starting from the first one height position of flower color of unripe pod shape of pod shape of seed color of seed and color of flower you can simply use these seven characters as you wish in the order it's not necessary you will keep height at first and shape of pod as fourth you can choose any of the character as first priority and second as you wish but as i told characters in pea plant were contrasting were contrasting if we see here one of the pea plant will show these characters like this and another plant will show same characters like there we will see first if one of the plant we will take one of the plant which will be dominant which will be dominant having dominant traits and another plant is taking same characters but in that plant you will see traits will be recessive as compared to this plant as we know for height what is the dominant trait it's tall it's tall it's tall represented by capital t capital t then contrast contrast simply means opposing trait for the character tall will be of course dwarf will be of course dwarf simply represented by small t small t as i have already cleared about it in previous lectures this is how there was the simple contrast regarding the characters opposite characters visible and we can simply observe all these characters with our naked eye then position of flower position of flower is axial and terminal axial and terminal axial is simply dominant one and terminal is recessive one axial simply means where flower is present in the axis like this here simply and terminal is simply where flower is present at the end of the branch twig or at the end of the shoot but axial will be when it is present in between main plant shoot as well as there is a small branch that is axial forming an axis it's at an angle with the main axis of plant fine then color of unripe pod color of unripe pod it will have its own color that will be green it's dominant one and yellow it will be recessive one recessive one green will be dominant and yellow will be recessive then shape of pod shape of pod simply means inflated inflated means bulged and constricted means simply wrinkled constricted means wrinkled there are wrinkles like if i show inflated means like this this is simple pod but constricted means like this this is the constricted shape then shape of seed shape of seed is round shape of seed is round simply p p seed you have observed it you have seen it number of time it is simply a small sphere ball like structure like this round then its contrasting recessive trait will be wrinkled will be wrinkled wrinkled simply means it won't be round smooth it will be like this it will be like this having some depressions then afterwards we have color of seed we have color of seed color of seed dominant is yellow and 
recessive is green recessive is green i repeat color of seed dominant trait here is yellow and recessive trait here is green i am clear then lastly we have color of flower color of flower usually dominant color we take purple and recessive we take white but in case of dominant one there might be other colors as well but usually we take purple and white we take purple and white these were the seven contrasting pair of characters that mendel used for his breeding experiments and most important here is that there was one of the plant that shows all these seven characters as dominant and another plant showed same characters but as recessive traits and this plant as well as this plant was pure plant was pure plant pure plant simply means their two forms of genes were same that means their genotype was in homozygous condition here i have shown if there is a phenotype tall its genotype will be in homozygous condition that's both the forms of gene are in same form same applies to here dwarf plant it's also pure it's not heterozygous condition it's homozygous condition that is pure line pure line plant or pure plant same applies to other so rest six characters they possess traits as pure form that is all these traits in these two plants were simply in homozygous condition if we show here in case of round color its shape of seed round will be like this homozygous both the alleles of gene are in same form are in same form and then wrinkled will be like this smaller smaller fine then if we take the another example color of seed it's yellow dominant it will be represented by y y and here it will be small y small y as i have already cleared that why we use same y here in recessive form for convenience for convenience it is simply a rule in the genetics that we represent genotypes with the help of english alphabets dominant one in capital case and recessive one in lower case i hope it's clear to all of you let's move forward now mendel started his experiment now mendel started his experiment if you remember for 10 years mendel go went through the breeding experiments that is simply reproduction between pea plant different pea plants one of the pea plant will have some characters and another pea plant will show same characters but trait will be different trait will be different like i have shown here seven characters but they have different traits height is having one of the trait tall and another trait is dwarf mendel's first experiment was mono hybrid cross mendel's first experiment was mono hybrid cross it's very important it's very important it forms the base of whole genetical world mono hybrid cross what do we mean by the mono hybrid cross mono means single hybrid simply means when two different varieties are combined and we get new thing that we call as hybrid and cross cross here means process of reproduction process of reproduction but in genetics it's not called as reproduction it's simply called as cross now mono hybrid cross is that type of cross in which single character is observed during the cross when there is reproduction between two different pea plants showing contrasting pair of characters but there is just observation of only single character only single character that cross is called as mono hybrid cross that means this breeding experiment is just for one single character for observation of just one single character same mendel performed the mono hybrid cross for the same plant pisum sativum and he observed during this cross only one character that one character was the height or size of plant height if you remember this is the one of the phenotype in pea plant and this height have two traits this height character has two traits one is called as tall and another is called as dwarf 
another is called as dog the genotype of tall is represented by t t in capital case and genotype of dwarf is represented by same t t but in small case or lower case again i am saying that mono hybrid cross is that type of cross in which a single character is observed during the process of breeding experiment that means when there is the breeding experiment going on a reproductive process going on in between two different pea plants we are observing just single character and that cross is called as mono hybrid cross how this cross is performed first what you will do you will take two varieties or two different pea plants two different pea plants but at the very first beginning at the very beginning you will take pure plants you will take pure plants for example we will take parent plants represented by parents like this parents both the parents will be pure pure means they will possess homozygous genotype for the phenotype parents one of the plant will be tall plant and another plant will be dwarf plant this is the character which is observed during this mono hybrid cross what is that character its height its height as i already told you height has two traits usually tall and dwarf now one of the plant we are taking tall plant and another plant we are taking dwarf plant representing their genotype will be like this t t in capital case and t t in small case fine but both are pure both these plants are pure line pure line means both the alleles of gene are in homozygous condition are in same form then they have to go for a cross cross means simply they will go for the process of reproduction process of reproduction but before going for the process of reproduction there will be the process that is gamete formation because in sexual reproduction if you remember there will be first formation of gametes yes there will be gamete formation like this we will represent the cross here in second step there will be gametes gametes will form like this same we have here there will be formation of gametes like this these are two gametes formed here these are two gametes formed here but it's not actually two gametes it's two types of gametes here also two types of gametes here also two types of gametes but both types are same both types are same why because we have taken the parent plant as pure line as pure line this is also as pure line but gametes if you remember your previous chapter i told you that gametes are always haploid gametes are always haploid for that thing you will see only one allele will go in one gamete and another allele will go in another gamete these two types of gametes 50% gametes will be this and 50% gametes will be this same applies here but both these types of gametes will be same exactly same because we are taking pure parent plants and maintaining the gamete condition that is gametes are always haploid we will see that one of the allele will go in the one type of gametes and another allele will go into the another type of gametes but both these types of gametes will be same will be same then there will be simply cross like this this will be crossed with this gamete and it will give a combination t t then same this t and this t will be combined like this it will give again combination capital t small t after that we will take this one and this one this is again t and t then we will take this one and this one this is again t t when we simply go through reproductive process between these two pure line parents when they get crossed when they show the process of reproduction 
you will see there will be formation of new generation which is called as first filial generation F1 generation F1 means first filial generation first means first filial means daughter filial means daughter that means it is new generation now daughter generation from the parents this will be represented as F1 generation first filial generation but if you have observed the cross if you have observed the cross this is cross pollination or cross fertilization taking place here because this is one of the pea plant and this is another pea plant now after this Mendel observed this first filial generation of plants he observed that none of the plant is dwarf none of the plant is dwarf because all these plants show genotype capital T and small t and if you remember dominance and recessiveness which allele will express here it will be capital T and this plant will show height tall this will also be tall this will also show tall height this will also show tall height all these plants phenotypically will be tall in nature and before going further before going further you have to observe here first every phenotype in first filial generation what is the actual phenotype coming from the cross that is these all plants will be phenotypically tall and then there will be further another step in the cross that will be now self pollination that will be self pollination that means now this plant will be taken and it will be self pollinated it will be self pollinated and after that mendel will again observe the results mendel had again observed the results or i will go further and you will see yourself what are the outcomes of second step of the mono hybrid cross this is enough for today i hope you have enjoyed it inshallah in next lecture we will move forward till then stay home stay safe thank you